Welcome back to my Colorado Mountain Garden. And again, please subscribe if you like the videos. Today I'm going to be um, planting my cilantro, my parsley, and my basil. And for cilantro and parsley, if you've ever had a problem getting them to germinate, put them in some water. And I'll show you. I just have this little cup the night before and let the seeds soak. That gets the hard coating shell of the seeds um, softened and also the seeds absorb the water so they get a little bit fatter. And then I just have this little strainer that I'll pour those in when I plant them. So that's one trick. The other one is just because at this time of year, I don't have as much room because I have a lot of plants growing. I use these smaller solo cups and I reuse them year after year. You, After you wash them out, you can put them on the top shelf of your dishwasher. But you can see they're a little bit different in size. You don't have to use solo cups. You can use other types of containers. But the other thing I'll do, and you can see I'm getting ready for my parsley, is I want to skip a step as far as in up potting. And on this cup, you can see right here, there's this ridge. I will fill with potting soil, with my potting soil mix, all the way to there. And then the rest of this up here is going to be my seed starting mix. And that's because with parsley and cilantro, once they get going, and basil, they take off. And I do overseed, you can see, and there was the same amount. I just use one package and I'm making four. When these get bigger and the roots get established, if you want to, you can break them apart. I put them in pretty big containers, so I usually don't break them apart. Um, but uh, I also like the little cups because it's nice if you're going to be going into a skinny, like one of the rectangular pans, or not pans, but planting pots that are about, you know, eight inches or so by like 12 inches if you have your herbs, let's say, up on your deck. So that works really good. So this is basically where I took the potty mix up to. Same here with the cilantro. And now I'm going to, all I do is I put about a quarter of an inch. Let's try and do it this way. And this will settle a little bit, so you may have to add a little bit more after you um, soak these seeds. And then I use the spray bottle. If any of the seeds pop up to the top, just put a little bit more soil on the top. Now, the basil seeds, I will use this same planting method. I'll, I'll put fill it up with the potting soil mix and then um, the, just the last part with the seed starting mix. And the seed starting mix, the reason why I do that is it's a lot lighter. And it's easy for those roots to get down in versus my potting mix. But then I don't have to up pot from a little cell when these plants are really small and tender. And by using the smaller cups, it doesn't take up as much space on my shelves. But unlike a tomato, a tomato would grow out of this container very quickly. So um, that's why I use the bigger solo cups for my tomatoes. And again, you don't have to use solo cups. I reuse mine year after year. I just want to show you, make sure you put drainage in there. And I go a little wild on my drainage. So, so that's the two tricks. One, soak your cilantro and your parsley. And then you can... Skip a step by using part way up with the potting mix and then the rest of the way up with the seed starter. Hope you're having a wonderful day and happy gardening.